name is Jenna, but you guys can call me Jenna. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you're new. Hi, hello! It's 2022. It's officially my first vlog of 2022. Welcome to me looking like a hot ass mess. <laughs> I got my COVID booster shot this morning and I was fine most of the day. Then I got absolutely taken out by a migraine at about four o'clock. I don't know if it was the booster or the fact that I've been staring at a screen all day. We don't know. But I took two Advils and I laid on the couch for a half hour and then I ordered myself some food as a treat instead of having to make it. I'm feeling like I got hit by a truck a little bit, vaguely, like a little baby truck, like one of those little Tonka trucks, just like that. So it's officially the weekend. It's Friday night and I have been watching Friends since January 1st because they took away New Girl off of Netflix and I don't know what to do with myself because that is my favorite show and it is a show that I usually just have on in the background. They took it off of Netflix and I'm so sad about it but I have I have this Roku thing for my TV so I can like stream on my TV and they gave me two months of Crave for free so I've just been watching Friends. <laughs> instead and it's fantastic i like i watched the friends reunion because i love friends it doesn't age very well but i love it and it's gonna be just one of those shows that's like it's a comfort show for me and when they took it off of netflix i was very sad but yeah i i've been watching it and now i'm on season four episode 10 because i just every night has been friends night for me but that's what's on right now i just finished eating and i'm just kind of hanging out and what can i tell you about this weekend i'm doing absolutely nothing this weekend because i am so tired january is always a really tough month mentally for me so it's one of those things that i just want to take it easy this weekend i have so many things that i want to read and i got so many books in the mail today because I, I made a few purchases at the end of the year at the end of 2021 and they all came to me today it was like christmas all except for one book order and i also ordered some like COVID things like I ordered this new pair of sweatpants which I love they're so cozy I got an arc from HarperCollins um, because I attended their like winter frenzy program um, I got blood scion by Deborah Filay Filay I will learn how to pronounce that but I'm excited to read this this is a Yoruba Nigerian mythology inspired YA fantasy that is for fans of children of blood and bone and ember in the ashes and so I am 1000% in very excited about that one. I'll show you the books that I got in the mail today. I'm still waiting on my box set of Malice, of the Malice series by John Gwynn. I don't know when that's gonna come in because it's coming from Amazon. I ordered it through Amazon, but it's not from Amazon. Like it's one of those like, I don't know, stores that sells through Amazon. But okay, so I also got a copy of, let me turn this way so you can see it, The Helm of Midnight by Marina Lostetter. It's also not, probably not how you pronounce her last name, but I'm so excited about this because I saw Reagan from Proust Project reading it and she said it's like a thrillery fantasy book, which I am so excited about. And then I also got A Hero Born, which is a translated work by Jin Yong. I'm really excited about because I was reading reviews about it because I wasn't sure. And people are saying that it's like, it's structured in a traditional like Chinese story structure. So I am so excited to see how that goes because you all, all know I love story structure so I'm really intrigued to see how this one goes. Um, I've heard it's like incredible and epic too. And then I picked up the <laughs> second book in the Chilling Effect series by Valerie Valdez. This is the Prime Deceptions. This is a really fun just silly sci-fi that I'm excited to read um, continue in the series for because I really enjoy, I enjoyed Chilling Effect when I read it. It wasn't like absolutely amazing but it was super fun. So I know when I'm in the mood for a fun sci-fi I will be getting to that. But this weekend, what am I gonna be reading? That's a great question. I have so many things that I want to be reading right now, which is a curse, it is a curse. But I also have a few library holds that are available for me. So tomorrow, because I was gonna go after work today, but because my headache took me out and by the time I was like able to be awake and like actually go, the library was closed. So <laughs> I'm going tomorrow and you guys will come with me. I have books to return and those holds to pick up. So I have a few of those that I would really like to start or like get into, but I'm currently reading two books. I'm currently reading Iron Widow by Sharon J. Zhao and I am currently reading Harrow the Ninth by Tamsin Muir. So my plan, oh, and I'm also reading the e arc for Temple of No Gods by Hannah Long, which I've been, I keep forgetting that I have it because it's on my iPad and I just keep forgetting about it. So this weekend, I plan on doing absolutely nothing except for reading and watching TV and playing Hades. <laughs> Back on that, I really enjoy this this game, but that's, that's the plan for this weekend. So stick around my friends. 
it's gonna be a weekend of just kind of chilling and just doing a lot of reading. We're gonna try and start my first official weekend of January. So I don't really count the first few days of January. That just, it, it doesn't exist. <laughs> We're gonna start January strong. I've only so far read one book in, Jan in, in 2022. So I would like to make it at least, at least finish one book this weekend. That's my goal. But anyways, friends, I'm gonna clean up my mess. All, all my food is everywhere. All the containers are everywhere. So I'm gonna clean it up and I'm just gonna get back in my spot on my couch with Frederick. And I think I'm gonna play a little bit of Hades and continue to watch friends. But later I'm gonna read. So I'll catch up with you then. Hello, my lovely friends. Happy Saturday. <laughs> I hello. I am just about to head out to the library to do my returns and then grab my holds. But um, I wanted to pop in and say good morning. Last night, I ended up reading a whole whack ton of Iron Widow, but then it was suddenly one in the morning and I was like, I should really sleep. <laughs> so I got to page 318. I'm liking this. I'm liking it for sure. Um, I keep having these moments of like, I stop and I think, and I'm just like, there's something missing. I don't know what it is, but there's something from this novel that's missing. And I don't know whether that's like a little bit more internal monologue of Zetian like actually figuring out what she's doing or like it feels almost very surface level, but I'm really enjoying it still. Like it's feral and it feels like Hunger Games meets like Gear Breakers in a way, but it's doing what Gear Breakers tried to do so much better, <laughs> so much better. So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying it and I'm planning on finishing it today, but I'm going to library as I said and then at noon which is in less than an hour so I gotta go my friends and I are doing this like online writers salon type thing um, which is 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 exciting we're just gonna like kind of sit and talk about writing projects and stuff like that um, which should be good because I need to kind of get back into that a little bit I don't know what exactly I'm gonna work on probably project dragon because that's the only one that's like in my head right now and I need to start thinking about querying for project dream because I just keep putting that off. So yeah, that's gonna be my day. But I feel like I'm getting a cold, <laughs> which is booster effects. I'm gonna go be really quick in town and then I'm gonna come back um, in town. It's literally five minutes away from me. And then I'm gonna come back and just hole in for the night, but or for the rest of the day, cause it's like 11. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna go do. So I will catch up with you guys a little later. picking up my three holds and then doing a quick peruse around the library just to see what they have. So that was nice, but all right, let me show you all the ones that I have now. We got a big old stack of boys here. I ended up picking up my three holds, which were Empire of Sand by Tasha Shuri. I really want to read more of her books because I absolutely love the Jasmine Throne, as you guys know. So I'm excited about that one. I also picked up City of Lies by Sam Hawk. This is one that I came across when I was looking up like fantasies and stuff with disability rep. So I'm excited about this one. I also have the audiobook for it. So I'm going to be reading that one very, very, very soon. And then I also have The Tiger's Daughter by K. Arsenal Rivera. Nope, Rivera. <laughs> and I'm excited to get into this one as well. I, I don't really know, but it's it's blurbed by V.E. Schwab on the back, so I'm excited. And then perusing, I ended up finding Witchmark by C.L. Polk. I read C.L. Polk's The Midnight Bargain last year, and I really, really like their writing. So and my friend just finished this one, and I think the second one, and they absolutely love this series, so I'm giving it a try. Excited. I'm super excited about all these boys. More library books. <laughs> and more books to read. But now I'm gonna make myself a coffee and get cozy on my desk area, get the Discord set up and do my writing salon, which is gonna be very exciting. Leave my library books on my mantle. <laughs> Hello friends, 
it is now a fair bit later. Wow, it's 5.45, I didn't even realize. I just finished this. Oh my God. <laughs> I have never read a book this feral and unafraid of just ripping everything to shreds. This is a villain origin story. This is, it is so heavy handed with the way it slaps you in the face about like, feminism and sexism and inequality and stuff, which is probably my only like, it's just, it's so heavy handed with it. I'm just like, okay, hey, we get it. <laughs> we get that this world crushes girls. We get it. But that is like the whole point of the book. And that's why Zetian is so feral and literally will do anything to just shut it down. And oh my God, that ending. <laughs> Shit. Also, there is a confirmed polyamorous relationship in this, which I think is fantastic. And each of the main characters, main characters, our main character and her two boys, each of them are bisexual. And that makes me so happy. Also, what the fuck? <laughs> Holy shit. That's all I can say. That's all I can say. That's all, that's all. Oh my God. I'm gonna have to sleep on this one to get all my thoughts and coherent things in my brain and lined up and ready. And then I'm gonna throw it through a cop out. But oh my God, was this wild? Wild, it is feral. That is that is the only way I can describe this. It is feral and it is very well written. <laughs> Holy bananas. And it just, it takes you by the throat and doesn't let you go. Even at the end, it still got you. Like, it's like, no, you you can't. Ija is my favorite. I love him. I don't think I pronounced that right. Uh, Hold on, I have a pronunciation guide written in the beginning of this, hold on. Cause uh, Shiran Zhao put up a TikTok where they do like a pronunciation guide, which is great. Yeah, okay, Ija. Ija is my favorite character in this. He is so sweet. I love him so much. He's so cool. Oh my God. Anyways, so done my second book of 2022. <laughs> it's officially dark outside and I've got The Witcher queued up because I was watching that earlier. Um, because Crave decided to crash last night and like not let me watch Friends anymore. So I was like, fine, I'll just start rewatching The Witcher because I've been meaning to do that. So that is what I have been doing. And then I just kept it on today because I love The Witcher. And I'm planning on just continuing to watch season one and then getting into season two when that rolls around. I'm on episode five. Oh my God. <laughs> Iron Widow, holy crow. I'm gonna watch another episode of The Witcher and like make a dinner. Later I'm gonna start uh, one of my library books. I think I'm gonna start Witchmark because it's small and I'm gonna see if I can power through that because I'm not really in the mood to read Harrow the Ninth right now, but uh, all things are very exciting. Oh my God, I can't. Iron Widow is gonna stick with me for a long time and I am so wicked excited for the sequel whenever that comes out. I don't think it's even announced because this is really new, but like, <gasps> guys, <laughs> oh man. And it's like, I thought, I forgot it was sci-fi until the very end. I thought it was like a fantasy. It's a fantasy sci-fi, but like, I forgot that it was sci-fi. So I wonder if the second book is gonna lean more into the sci-fi-ness with some things that we found out at the end. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna watch more of The Witcher, make dinner, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Hello, my darling friends. Happy Sunday. Hi, hello. I'm here on my couch. I feel like I have a cold today, which is not good. I'm feeling like it's just more like side effects from the booster because I haven't really gone anywhere. So I probably, and I haven't like been close to anybody. So there's no way that I could have caught a cold. It's Sunday. Yesterday, after I talked to you guys, I ended up just watching The Witcher until like one in the morning. I am four episodes in, three, four, starting episode four of season two and I'm loving season two so much. Oh my gosh, like I've read the first Witcher novel. So like we've kind of gotten to that point with this series. We've kind of gone through all the, the backstory and then we're dealing with the backstory and now we're in that first novel, but it's changed so much since the novel, which I like a lot more because I didn't really love the first novel a whole lot. It was kind of disappointing and boring. The Witcher season two is doing it. It's doing the things that I love. And I, I just, it's just, I love this show so much. It's one of my favorite shows of all time, for sure. But yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna kind of chill here today. I have literally nothing to do um, except for laundry. I gotta go switch my load over to the dryer, but I'm gonna just kind of chill out. I wanna do some reading today. 
before I dive back into my Witcher watching. And I decided to pick up The Empire of Sand by Tasha Shuri because it was calling to me. I was gonna pick up Witchmark by C.L. Polk, but this one was just like calling to me from my, from my mantle over there with the other library books that are sitting on it. And I, yeah, so I'm, I'm only like 10 pages in because I've been watching a YouTube video as I like eat breakfast and drink my coffee. It's, it's Reagan's ranking of all of her books that she literally put up like eight minutes ago. I saw it and I was like, oh yeah, I'll watch that one. So it's, I like these tier ranking videos of where people do all the books they read in a year and rank them that way. I might possibly do one for me, but I think I've read like 140 some books. That's gonna, that's gonna be a long video. So maybe next year. Maybe next year I'll do something like that. Or maybe I'll do something like that halfway through the year. That'll be my like halfway through the year wrap up kind of a thing. That could be fun. I should write that down. But yeah, this is my Sunday so far. I got a late start because that's just how I like to do it on Sundays. And then I convinced my parents to go pick up my prescription so that I didn't have to go into the city because I need to go pick up a prescription because it's ready. But I don't want to go in the city. <laughs> so I'm, I'm in the city. I don't want to leave my apartment because I'm just, I'm so cozy and I really don't want to go anywhere I'm not gonna go anywhere i decided to not even wash my hair today i'll wash it tomorrow because that's the start of a week is a good way to start a week but i also beat hades the game hades i think i beat it friday night i beat the game which was extremely exciting for me because i've never beat a video game in my life like i'm not like a huge video person video game person if you guys have played hades you know what happens when you beat the game for the first time it like restarts in a different way so i yeah <laughs> still been playing uh which is it's so fun i like that game so much it's it's just so simplistic in its design but the art is absolutely stunning and the uh storyline is really cool and it keeps on changing which is really fun like it's not like a typical stop restart video game that repeats any lines of dialogue or anything like it's well, it probably does but not in a way that's really obvious so i really enjoy that game if you guys don't play it i think you should it's very simple and as a game a non-gamer myself i enjoy it <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, friends, I'm gonna get back to my coffee and my reading and my YouTube video. I'm gonna finish it up and I'll uh, chat with you later. I'll give you an update on how I feel about Empire of Sand. I'm very excited to keep reading uh, a Tasha Shuri work because I really want her to be one of my favorite authors of all time. So I'll catch you with you later. <laughs> because apparently that's just how days go for me now they just vanish but i wanted to pop in and give you guys an update on tasha shuri's empire of sand i do apologize if you can hear like the kettle in the microwave i'm currently making hot chocolate because i want hot chocolate so i got my kettle going i got a little bit of milk in there that i'm going to heat up and 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 do some hot chocolate actually i have pre-packaged underneath but yeah, so Tasha Shuri's Empire of Sand is good so far. Like, I'm enjoying it good. It took me a while to get into it because I was distracted by the internet and TikTok. I'm 126 pages in, and I don't know what I was expecting going into this, but I wasn't expecting a, like, almost an arranged marriage kind of vibe. I have no idea what's going on. I'm still waiting for, for our main character to have magic, like it says on the back, but, like, something just happened where there was, like, a reveal, and I was like, <laughs> so <laughs> I'm into it. There's a lot of mystery. There's a lot of intrigue. There's a lot of like political power at play and like definite like racism and classism at play, which is very interesting. So I'm, I'm just, I'm going to keep going. But first I'm going to make myself a hot chalky and, and then get settled back on the couch. <laughs>
day. Hi, hello. It's the start to another work week. Just kind of chilling at my desk, doing some work. I'm about to knuckle in and get a blog written. <laughs> written and sent in. Because I forgot I had to do it for today, so that's what today's gonna be. It's just gonna be that, which is exciting. Uh, last night, I ended up getting to almost page 200 of Empire of Sand, which is very exciting, like 198 or something. I am really, really enjoying this. I love Tasha Shuri's writing. It's just so easy to follow and her characters are so interesting. And the world building is so neat. I love the world building in The Jasmine Throne and this one is close. It's close to that. Uh, Cause the world building in Jasmine Throne is so rich and interesting, but this is starting to be because our main character has like left her pretty secluded life in her father's house and is, is going into the desert, which is really cool because there's like little bits of magic that Tasha Shuri has like knit into the world that just happens. It's like naturally occurring, uh, like the dream fire that happens really, really, really seldomly. Like it's every so many years that this storm happens is what it's called. And it's, dr it's called dream fire and it's like colors and stuff that falls from the sky. And I'm like, that's so pretty. Today, because I am at my desk and I wanted to listen to the beginning of an audiobook, which I probably won't be able to listen to anymore because I will have to write this blog and I can't do that with words coming into my ear. But I've started listening to uh, Witchmark, one of my library books. So I'm excited and I'm really enjoying it. It's hooked me already. I'm on page 56, 57, and it's just zooming along. So that's exciting. The audiobook at double time speed will only be about four hours. So it'll be quite quick to get through. If I didn't have to write this blog, I could probably finish it today. But since I do have to write the blog, I'm going to press pause on it and keep going. But I figured I might as well pop in and also end this vlog here. Officially the end of the weekend. <laughs> this weekend I finished up and read most of Iron Widow by Shran Jai Zhao and I really, really like this. I threw it through Cop Out this morning. It's another four star. So, so far in 2022, I have had two four stars, which is so exciting and really, really great. Really excited to see where Shran's work goes from here because this was an incredible debut. <laughs> I really liked this. And then of course I started reading Empire Sand by Tasha Shuri, which I'm also really, 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 really enjoying. Um, so far it's not as good as The Jasper Throne, but it's up there. It's definitely up there. I'm so excited about it. I can't wait to see where this goes. This week, I'm just gonna keep reading what I got going on. I'm gonna keep reading Witchmark, probably finish it up today, tomorrow, and keep reading Hera the Ninth. And I think the next book that I'm going to read is one of the ones that I picked up at the Indigo 30% off hardback sale that they had, and that is Folklore by Angela Mi Young Her which just looks really, really cool. And I will also be hopefully picking back up the arc of Temple of No Gods. I should really just devote hours to getting through that one because I, I should <laughs> so that I can write a review before it comes out. Anyways, I'm rambling now. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not yet because you should join my little corner of the internet. And I will catch you guys in another video very, very soon. Stay kind and keep on reading.